have so far witnessed, and many lawyers would agree, a collapse of the two main arms of government. Um, let me speak first with um, the, the parliament. And this collapse didn't start with the recalls. It started way long back. During COVID-19, over 63 pieces of law were made without the participation of parliament. Now, that needs to sink. Absolutely. So this is a law-making body, not the, just the Chinese building. This is a law-making body whose primary mandate, according to the constitution, is to make laws for the good of the country. But the executive then goes on to decide. It wants to make laws on its own. Um, so which is why when you read these days, you begin to hear a decree, a presidential decree, a presidential decree, and there has been a challenge around the use of presidential powers to make laws. And that signifies a collapse of parliament as an important arm of government. Um, Move back, Constitution Amendment Bill Number Two did mm -hmm. take away. Can I can I hold you there uh, on on that? This is a deliberate collapsing of yes. the legislature, mm -hmm. so that the president mm -hmm. rules by decree. Mm -hmm. Do you want to push back on that? So what you then have is what we have, you know, um, trying to find lighter ways. It's called an executive democracy, where the executive seems to have taken control of all the arms of government. So that actually describes it. Now, the other important arm of government is the judiciary. And in this report, we do speak a lot about the issue of the independence of the judiciary. Just to give you an example, so we say a party rules in its mm, place. Mm. Just to give you an example, before elections, there was a report which was not challenged that judges received around $400,000 each. Now, if th those are millions of dollars. And now you want to ask your question to say, why was that money not put in the Judicial Service Commission so that judges can have good working conditions, whether they're elections or not? But the reason why those funds come before the elections is because the judges must know who is paying them those amounts of money. I've spoken to colleagues who are in the property sector. Before the elections, you couldn't buy a house. The prices went up because the judges were buying, were in the market. Were in the market. Now, fast forward after elections, we're beginning to see the kind of disempowering judicial pronouncements that erode the voices of the millions. Yes, I mean, he's right. I completely agree with him, Mr. Berry. We need to start asking ourselves questions. Is this the life that we want, you know, for Zimbabweans? I mean, who doesn't know our situation across the world? You mention your name, I'm a Zimbabwean. People know immediately where you're coming from. Remember, we've walked through the journey with Mugabe. We, we literally was a shock. <laughs> and then we thought, oh my God, we are off the hook. Here we are back, not to square zero, but we moved from the port to the fire. The situation has reached another level. It's worse daily. These cars that are being handed out in the country, money being dished out daily. But we look at our, all our state institutions, which include the, you know, the judiciary. People are saying it's messed up. You heard him, Mr. Berry, mentioning that. We talk about our hospitals as well. It's a mess. Teachers are crying. They're being underpaid. The army, the police, who is not complaining in the country? Who is not, except that, that those that are in close proximity, I think with, um, you know, with ZPF. And in, some of them within the parameters of ZPF itself are also still complaining that something is not right. So there is a video that is circulating right now that is alleging that, you know, they spoke to the president, apparently, this is just what he is saying, and uh, told him about what God said to him regarding, you know, the coup that is coming. They said something is coming, you know, so I don't want to take much of your, of, of your time, guys. Take a listen to him speaking. Mm -hmm. 
ni mume wake kama kutini wa mume wake ili wacho azomfutira wacho na ile achafutiwa ile wacho achafutira acha shika pa kuno salenda eka shauma ni kutinika mingi hata sana ni makule manomwe enzana wodo shirugere saka no utaula kwa kaita isu saka wano wanga tauli usha hawa sema tauli hivu kana utumafungiru ndi china mata tiripachueshe changira ye aka uya achikumbira kukwise wa mte uru izu vila kamuti ili nika ye hauzo ikongi Nebuti ine chitili ito Inika yakadiwa Ni wali pasi ni mwe ya mtrene na iye mwali pati zake Kuti uzi ye kuti inika ya uzo waka itonga Mbe rugu kwa tiku yenda ucha uina Asante na kuona wakala pachikamu 2008 Wacha ngira hii wa imetiyo mtuka mili uwe watu mwe pati mwe kukwiza Waka uina Asa wana kuchikara Nduhusu mwe chete shakamira swara nasi Uwe mtuka mili uwe da alipo Shaka jika kana shuti pachina, shaka tau wanezi, shaka tiri kuhuna ni shaka tau wana kufamadu mesu. Izi kuli kiti na una, jungwe dema la buda mchungwe jena. Nda una mapuru mai, dema, nitu, ya mutanga ni mecheta achiru kisana. Kula kwa kinyaye edu ya kamira, inyaye kufutirangu. Saka kusheze, shalanga taure, nesu la itike, nseku extenda, nguwa ya kuti ame pachika. Izo zo shufa mwakoti shisati sise, ndo kutipazwa na mkana ukuti abutiwe. Izo hili laka ramba laka chanti na kuna asira mungu wake chikaro. Asita wuna azo hika shukufutiwa. 1933, 56, 76, nika kuinda kuma elections, tichina mata. Kuna matila nika kuti hili nilu nyararo, saka mata wuna kuti. Nika ya kami menu nyararo pasa kuzweli, sati shako itika. 2017, chaka nama ata. Shume chetezo chaka tindu la nika. Tichitipika chete, mwe ya, saka maka una kuti. Mungu kutila ala kwa waka ita, pana kuni uka wapa kanda baile mida matu. Shitipi pane chuda kwa itika kasi. Isusu wa postu wano. Chazi tina mate chete kutipa upali sabi uke. Saka chibu cha tinu na mata chete, inya ya kutipa upali sabi uke ne kuti. Mwari ni nika ino nga niki tribito, che kuti nika ino, haide uke ropa, wakati ili ropa, wakati uka, njiru uka kafumiwa, wangu la chenguisa wa chena, kutu wapiwe ifuraru, saka wakati unzi ipapo, shakwa na nukuti shatindiwa, yuwe mshesha, yuwe shaka fumiwa na mwari baba, kutu uka hindi uke ino, kutu wapiwe ifuraru, 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 kutu wapiwe Paka na mata chichitendelea Pasa rozo Chaka taula chaka tigizu Ilenu ya titi Nika ino mita tokena kune utunga mili uriko Hazi kusene kwe sa rozo Kune matambuzi kukune mzapa Ndiku kune ufu wake Mutunga mili ya kutunga mili ya hii nika nasi Mamu wakatai watauna nyo simbapa Ino inzara Nishino izu ilaka vidi kana kati kune makule manomwe Aka susi kizana, kama utaka berikana, yenzara. Ndukule wako kaita iswe, mwe ya mtu. Alright guys, you have heard. Um, first and foremost, I'm not a person who's so uh, obsessed about, uh, you know, with pastors and, and, and uh, prophets and all. I'm a lover of God, you know, I'm a lover of Jesus Christ. I've got a good relationship with the Father. That's why I'm not obsessed with all these shenanigans. But at the same time, I'm also much aware that uh, people do listen to what's going on on social media what they hear sometimes from their friends you know because we all know what's going on right now the the, the statements that are being spooled especially against the, the vice president concert no chewanger it's not fair you know you talk about uh, ian mcmillan said ruthless words they talk about him being a dunderhead you remember we also look at uh, Eddie Cross recently as well, said he will never, never leave that country even five minutes. But people were alleging immediately when the coup happened that there was um, an arrangement, which I've never seen it in black and white. These were simply allegations that people were, 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 were dropping that uh, he was, they were supposed to exchange, I think, terms. But now we've seen where we are. And also there's all these aspirations to have a third term in place, which I don't know how it's going to end. I don't think it will end well. And Mawarire, remember Mawarire, uh, Jairus Mawarire, who was also really a hardcore supporter of, um, of Mugabe. 
um, really, I remember, you also remember him when there was a meeting and he, he, he said the army should also join this meeting. He sent out a tweet one day on, uh, on, on uh, X when he said that, um, you guys are talking about uh, President Masum Nangago seeking for a third term. Let's pray that he finishes this term that he is in. And like I said, I don't take words lightly. I take words very seriously. So guys, tell me what you think in the comment section below because you have heard and we, we all just seeing where this is going. But um, I know a lot is happening in the background. I'm I know a lot is happening in the background. I love you so much, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, and bye for now.